sterile box started as a shipping container here at the Oshman Engineering Design Kitchen. This is called the Rice Sterile Box, and we are a, an off-grid sterile processing unit for uh, assisting health facilities, hospitals, and places where there's no power and there might be contaminated water. So someone would bring the utensils in through this window, um, and there's a wall here so that they can't come through. Um, and the person on the inside would be washing them. They would dump them in the sink. They would do the initial rinse in this basin, scrub them off in this sink, and then rinse them off in this last basin. And then they go in the drying rack until the next step. So by this time it's been washed already, so we wrap the instruments in the sterilizer cloth and put them inside the autoclave. You fill it with water, seal it, and put it on the heater. After about an hour, we take it out, allow it to cool for a while, and then put it in the cabinet where it's ready to go for surgery. We originally designed this not to use any power at all, or very minimal power. We morphed onto a solar PV solution. And probably the big benefit of solar PV solution is we have some electricity for non-sterilization factors, like charging cell phones and, and laptops. So we think it's a big benefit. In terms of water, we now have a very simple kind of sand gravel filtration system and we think we can take surface water and run it through this filtration system and have fairly decent water in order to do the cleaning process. I think what's been very interesting about the process of getting to the sterile box as a design was that the original work done in this area by these researchers was to really look at simply making an autoclave, make an autoclave that can be run sustainably. And what we found when we did that was that that only addressed part of the problem. So what's particularly interesting about the sterile box is that it looks at the entire system and it really has a chance, I think, to have an impact in a way that a single technology that only addresses cleaning surgical tools cannot possibly have. The proof is going to be when we take it into the field and evaluate it and make sure that it works um, as intended.